Vacana. One, the lines the rich will make temple for Shiva implies that answer. C. They believe that temple is the only place to feel the presence of God. Two. Which of the following statement are true? Answer. D. The speaker believe that God is present within ourselves and not in any temple. 3. What are the feelings of the speaker, suggested in title questaboo? What shall I, a poor man, do? A. Helplessness B. Doubt. C. Humility. D. Anger. E. Pride. F. Anguish. Answer. A. Helplessness. 4. The word listen in the last stanza is A. An order B. An appeal C. A request D. An advice. Answer. B. An appeal. 5. The expression things standing suggests A. Any man may temple. B. Anybody who is standing. C. Anything which is static. D. The human body. Answer. D. The human body or C. Anything which is static. 6. There are two examples of paradox in time last two lines. A paradox is a statement containing opposite ideas. 1. What opposite ideas are suggested in things standing shall fall? Answer. Things standing shall fall in the line the phrase dreams that human body is mortal and shall perish but the soul is immortal. Answer. Things standing shall fall in the line the phrase dreams that human body is mortal and shall perish but the soul is immortal. 2. What opposite ideas are suggested in the moving shall ever stay? Answer. Moving refers to the soul which is immortal and keeps moving from one body to another. Answer. Moving refers to the soul which is immortal and keeps moving from one body to another. 7. What flu message do the last two lines convey? Answer. The last two lines convey that the human body and material things that we consider unimportant are rental and perishable. The human soul is immortal and non-perishable and ill is considered important by God. Answer. The last two lines convey that the human body and material things that we consider unimportant are rental and perishable. The human soul is immortal and non-perishable and ill is considered important by God. Answer. The last two lines convey that the human body and material things that we consider unimportant are rental and perishable. The human soul is immortal and non-perishable and ill is considered important by God. The headaches you should read the gold. following extract carefully. Discuss pairs and then write the answers to the questions given below it. 1. How is the human body compared to a temple? Answer colon The legs of the human body are compared to the pillars that are found in the temple. The hoodie house is the soul which is a part of God, hence it is a shrine. Every temple has a cupola on toy of its tower and so the head becomes the cupola. Answer colon The legs of the human body are compared to the pillars that are found in the temple. The hoodie house is the soul which is a part of God, hence it is a shrine. Every temple has a cupola on toy of its tower and so the head becomes the cupola. 2. What is the figure of speech used here? Answer. Metaphor. 3. Why is the speaker comparing the human body to a temple? Answer. The hum and body is the abode of soul which the poet considers to be a part of God. Just as the God's idol is housed in a temple, the soul is housed in the body, hence the comparison is made thus. Answer: The hum and body is the abode of soul which the poet considers to be a part of God. Just as the God's idol is housed in a temple, the soul is housed in the body. Hence the comparison is made thus. Answer. The hum and body is the abode of soul which the poet considers to be a part of God. 
Just as the God's idol is housed in a temple, the soul is housed in the body, hence the comparison is made thus. 3. Discuss in pairs I groups of four each and answer true following question. Note down the important points and then develop the point into a paragraph. 1. What ideas of spirituality emerge from the study of this well-known Vakanas? Answer, through this Vakana, Basavana wishes to tell us that we give a lot of prominence to physical things and forget the devotees, nor is it a sign of devotion when God in fact resides in our heart. God does not appreciate these physical attributes but appreciates the true devotion more. Therefore according to the poet a true devotion is better and it is permanent than any opulent building which is in fact perishable. Answer, through this Vakana, Basavana wishes to tell us that we give a lot of prominence to physical things and forget the devotees. Nor is it a sign of devotion when God in fact resides in our heart. God does not appreciate these physical attributes but appreciates the true devotion more. Therefore according to the poet a true devotion is better and it is permanent than any opulent building which is in fact perishable. Answer, through this Vakana. Basavana wishes to tell us that we give a lot of prominence to physical things and forget the devotees, nor is it a sign of devotion when God in fact resides in our heart. God does not appreciate these physical attributes but appreciates the true devotion more. Therefore according to the poet a true devotion is better and it is permanent than any opulent building which is in fact perishable.